Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a worksheet tutorial video on classifying triangles by angle and side properties. This is a worksheet that is found on mathdrills.com. In the description, you're going to find a link, so make sure to check it out. Basically, what this worksheet is asking is to classify each triangle using its angle and side properties. So triangles can be broken down by their angles and also their sides. So what are these properties? Well, we have the angles. Let's talk about the angles first. Each triangle has three, and we know they need to add up to 180. If all the angles add up to less than 90, uh, or has a sum of, or excuse me, a measure of less than 90, then it is an acute triangle. There's a lot of jokes about acute triangles, but acute triangle is when all the angles are less than 90. If one of the angles, and just has to be one, it's actually impossible for it to have two, has a right angle or 90 degree angle, then it is right. Okay, so if it has one right angle, it's a right triangle. And if it has one angle that's above 90, that's an obtuse angle, then the triangle is obtuse. So just one angle above 90 makes it obtuse. One angle that is 90, it's right. And then it, the other alternative is acute. That means all the angles are less than 90. Let's go over to the sides. If all the sides are equal, it's called an equilateral or equilateral triangle. Now let's break this down. Equal means equal, lateral means sides. So equal sides, equilateral triangle. That's basically what it means. Two sides, we're talking about a, oh my gosh, the name excuse me. <laughs> a sudden it is an isosceles okay and then the spelling is weird but i'm pretty sure it's this i o s i s o s c e l e s i'm almost positive that's what it is leave a comment if it's wrong it might be but i'm pretty sure that's what it is and then no sides equal is called scalene so iso is like by itself so there's one side that's by itself that's not equal scalene it's just kind of on, in its own category, equilateral. That's an easy one to remember because all the sides are equal. Now let's talk about each one of these triangles and what type they are. So let's break down this first one. We don't know that much about it. We don't know anything about the side lengths. We kind of can visualize what it looks like. But it doesn't tell us that any of the sides are equal. So we know it's not going to be isosceles or uh, equilateral because we don't know anything about the sides being equal. So it is going to be a scalene for sure. Let me change the color here. I want something a little bit darker. So this is going to be a scalene. But what type of scalene is it going to be? We know that this angle is above based on its appearance. Okay, so a right angle looks like this. An acute angle looks like this. And obtuse looks a little like this. Okay, they got a little bit more sloppy as it went along. But obtuse, that's definitely above uh, 90 degrees. So this is an obtuse scalene triangle. We'll just call it obtuse scalene. Okay, number two. I want to show you this one because it has these features now. What does that mean, those features? That means those two sides are equal to each other. So this side is equal to this side. But we don't know anything about the third side. So this third side is like the wild card. We don't know anything about them. But we know at least two are. So that makes it an isosceles. So we're going to call this guy isosceles. And then we know that this angle is definitely above 90 degrees. So we're going to call it an obtuse isosceles okay it doesn't sound as good when you call it an isosceles obtuse use the angle metric before the um, side metric okay the naming system look at this one we know this one it's got a 90 degree anytime you see that uh, that measure that little rectangle sorry that's a square right there we know it's a right triangle so it's a right that's our angle metric our angle naming system and then we don't know anything about the side so it's scaling so this is a right scaling triangle Let's go to one where we have all the sides equal right here. Uh, let's see if there's any. Okay, so this one, we have all the sides equal, so we know it's going to be equilateral. So this one's equilateral. Equilateral is how normal people say it. And all the sides are less than 90. See how it's kind of like a V for all those sides, not like an L or I don't know what you'd call that, a wide V, a flying V. But this is going to be acute. And it turns out that anytime it's an equilateral triangle, they're always acute because they all have to be 60 degrees. Equilateral triangles are consequently also equiangular. That means they have all the same angle measure. Okay, So that's kind of a cool feature about equilateral triangles. Now, if we're going here and looking at a few more, uh, we see that this one has all acute. Okay, And because two sides are shown to be the same, these are the same measure, it's isosceles. So this is isosceles. It's an acute isosceles. 
Okay, and then this one we don't. It doesn't look like we have any information, so we don't know if any of the sides are equal. But we can kind of look at the angles. We're not seeing that they're right angles, and they definitely don't look obtuse where they're opening up wide. So this is acute because of that, and we don't know anything about the the lengths. So we're going to call it scalene because it wouldn't. It needs to tell us that they're equal or not. And let's just do one more because the other ones you'll be able to figure out once you know the pattern. This is right because it has that right angle the nine degree measure and then it's isosceles because it too gives us this information so that's a right isosceles which actually is a great triangle so that's all there is to it you have a three that you need to do on your own uh leave a comment if you need those done or if you want the some help doing that but it should be pretty cut and dry now and i appreciate you watching make sure to check out more videos like this right here on west explains best thanks for stopping by